how not to do block start and how to get it right. Common mistakes when starting from blocks. Rising up way too fast, hands too wide, hips too low, head too low, head too high, a crunch position, using only one block and the tippy toe stance. Rising up too fast will make you unstable, so take control of your rise just a little bit. Keeping your hands and hips very low will make you feel very powerful, but unless you squat 300 kilos, that power won't convert in speed, so you're better off keeping your hips a little bit taller. The same goes for the tight crunch position. A nice block position to start out with is 2 feet to the first block and 3 feet to the second. But dare to experiment with this in training, no body is the same, so no setup is right for everybody. Keeping your head down out of the blocks might give you a sensation of staying low when you're actually not. Try to keep it in line with your spine. Standing on your toes while pushing back into the blocks, your heels will sink and you will go nowhere. Keeping your ankles stretched and your whole foot planted gives you a powerful base to push from with your strong hips. Keeping these things in your mind, your start will look something like this. Controlled rise, stable position, legs at about 90 and 120 degrees, back kinda straight, feet planted, pushing from both feet, head in line with body. Now you're ready for the final 98 meters of the 100 meter. And now you know 